second date update. When it comes to online dating, you're definitely going to come across some weird, out of the norm profiles. Mm. Mm. Majority of them are. Like maybe you run across a young lady with wings and a tail. Okay. Whoa! You don't see that all the time. No, you yeah. don't. <laughs> or maybe you found a guy with a handlebar mustache, which was quirky, but it was located in the middle of his neck. Huh. <laughs> How was he still single? Yeah. So you're probably going to swipe left on those the majority of the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, one of our listeners, Daniel, came across a unique profile and ended up getting a date out of it. Really? Wow. So let's talk to him. Hey, Daniel, you there? Uh, hey, how's it going? Good. Damn, Daniel. Oh, you have <laughs> to yeah, Sorry, I couldn't resist doing that. <laughs> Is that but, the only time you're going to do that? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> we'll God. see how I feel. But, Daniel, <laughs> thanks for being on with us. Tell us about the woman that you want us to call today. What's her name? Her name is Rebecca. Okay. Okay. And, I mean, Jeffrey had alluded to the fact that she had an interesting profile. Like, what was so intriguing about it? Okay. So, everything seemed pretty straightforward at first. And then I go to the bottom and it says in like all caps, FYI, this account is operated by my father. I do not have the password. <laughs> Whoa. Oh wow. my God. I've never seen that before. Yeah, no, that's just the beginning. And oh it my says gosh. he will be the one checking it. You will have to meet him one on one at least once before you meet me with him present. So, you know, you got to pass the one-on-one. Then he's there to chaperone your first date. Oh, my god. Okay, and wait, uh, hold on. Red flags aren't flying up all over the place yeah. for no. you because... I wouldn't just swipe like, left. I would block that profile. Daniel's thinking dream girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or dream dad. I'm thinking psycho family. I would never let my dad read messages between me and a guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're supposed to be hot and heavy. Did it say anything else? Yeah, yeah. It also said, do not message me if you've ever cheated or if you are divorced for any reason other than your wife abandoned you. What? Okay. Yeah, except cheaters probably would still message it anyways. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I cheated, but it was her fault. Yeah. Or she I didn't pay me enough attention, yeah. you know. So, Daniel, did you meet all those parameters? I did pass through. And I, I, like you said, I thought, oh, my God, this seems like a lot of trouble. Yeah. But I also thought, okay... If her dad is this protective, then maybe she must be something really special. Uh-uh. And no, let no. me shoot my shot and give it a try. No, she's probably a freak. I'll tell you that. Bro. Yeah, well, she's got some daddy issues. Maybe yeah, he's a cool sure. dad. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's a cool, cool dad. Maybe. Sound like a cool it, dad. it all caps says no divorces and no cheaters. Yeah. Like that's Show not a up. cool dad. He's like, man. hey, Buckaroo, you want a beer? Yeah. <laughs> that was all a joke. <laughs> so you're saying that you actually sent a message to this dad. I said the message to the dad, the uh, whole family, yes. Doesn't it feel like so dated? Like you're asking permission yeah. to go that, on a date with the father? Like it just. In what? certain cultures, that's the norm, bro. Uh, not in <laughs> ours, though. I will say, like, you really will wean out a lot of the people that are like, no hookups. Yeah, exactly. And, Brooke, if you don't like it, then you don't have to click on it. You don't have to meet the father. You just swipe left and find another I profile of a girl that's willing to go on night one. It's just yeah, interesting. Like what, what was your expectations <laughs> of this? I honestly had no expectations at all. I just saw something. It was interesting and unique and figured, why not? Okay. Wow. It does feel like it could be Britney Spears' dating profile. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good point, bro. Oh, so, no. He's like, I have to save this convo for court. <laughs> Hashtag free Britney. Yeah. Free Britney. So yeah. obviously the dad must have responded. Well, that's the thing. So the next day I go check my inbox and there's a message, but it's from Rebecca. Oh. And she says that she just put that on her profile as like a way to keep out all the creeps and the thirsty guys. Uh, and she be really nice from the response. I mean, she's got to be pretty cool if she's able to come up with something that creative. Yeah. As a way to like put on your profile to stand out and make yourself unique. I just think it's weird that you think this okay, is so Brooke, cool. Okay, Brooke, we get yeah, it. We get it. You yeah. hate it. Jeff, Alexis, do you think this is cool? No, Jeff, imagine your mom running your dating yes. account. Uh, fun fact, my mom did set up a dating <laughs> oh, account for me no. without my permission. And you and, got laid like And, no. and you think that's cool? Did look you me. love it? I'm a catch. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Just no wonder you're siding with this girl so I don't know. hard. Look, sometimes uh. playing hard to get works. I don't know how to play it, but when people do play hard to get, it sounds like this is an elaborate hard to get scheme. So, I mean, what was the date like? You said you had fun conversation. Yeah, and was Rebecca yeah. actually normal when you met her? 
she was a normal, beautiful woman. Wow. We you went out to dinner. We had a great time. The one thing that I thought was going to derail it at the restaurant, it turns out that my old high school chemistry teacher was there. Uh, what, did you get a bad grade? Is that why you thought it was going to derail it? No, we hooked up, too. This is awkward. <laughs> I would prefer the hookup, maybe. I did. I, he told her that he remembered me because I just scraped by with a D. Oh, oh the chemistry yeah. teacher. Come, Come on. on. <laughs> but yeah. who knows? Maybe the teacher was like, but I am sensing some chemistry between ah, the two of you. Hey. <laughs> Did she laugh at that? Well, I mean, I was mortified, but we had a good laugh about it. And, yeah. you know, we continued on with dinner. It was a good time. And, and afterward, you know, we ended up just sort of walking around the city for a little bit. And then, you know, went back to in her car and kissed for a while, made out. And oh, it, it felt good, right? It's been asked if she wanted to have a, a nightcap, but she said no. She she wasn't wanting to do she that. She had a curfew oh, yeah. from her pretend father. I know. You're suddenly moving kind of fast all of a sudden. I mean, I was really feeling it that night, and everything I got from her vibes wise told me she was too. Yeah. All right. So, but I, I said I wanted to see her again, and she said, let's do lunch on Wednesday next week. And she even oh. suggested a place, you know, some sandwich place. Wow. Okay, so you had a date, you had a time, you had a location. Yeah, lunch seems like a friend date to me. Kind of, yeah. yeah but not with all of that. I mean, they just okay. made out. Like, they, they were just done kissed. making out. I think it's like, I want to see you in daylight, you yeah. know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, but overall, it seems like a pretty good yeah. date. And I, yeah. I would only have two words to describe it, I think. Damn, Daniel. Oh, I mean, pretty <laughs> good, man. <laughs> So let's play a song. We'll come back and we'll try and get you a second date update, okay? All right, sounds good. All right, man, hold on. Willing to wait 10 dates before getting intimate. Oh, what? Like? That's, long. That's what my mom actually wrote on no. the dating profile no, no, that no, she wait. secretly set up for me years ago without my knowledge. No. That's a true story. Oh, no. I could not believe it because she knows it's 15. Oh. <laughs> Not cool, Mom. She knows I'm a virgin. Oh, you so, are the dorkiest person I know. You are. I do not sorry, think it's honey. weird at all that one of our listeners, uh -huh. Daniel, of met a girl online who had a disclaimer on her profile saying her account was run by her father. Yeah, and yeah. at least the father put that because your mom didn't even put that up. No, yeah, she didn't. And her account. the father was fake. Your mom is real. Yeah. That's right. But no, this isn't about me. This is about our listener, Daniel. <laughs> yeah. And Daniel... I never asked you this in the first part. I'm curious. You said you had a lunch date set up that never actually happened with mm -hmm. Rebecca. Did she cancel it or did she just not show up? She just never showed up. Ouch. Oh. Oh. Dude, she left you sitting at the restaurant? Yep, just sitting there by myself, drinking water like a goober. <gasps> that oh, only, that that only happens to people that you really want to hurt their feelings. Or like, something terrible happened on the way. Like, were you able to get in, in touch with her? I haven't heard anything. I have no idea what happened, if she's okay, if she's oh mad about something. I, I don't know. She just never showed up, and it's been... Radio silence ever since. Oh, man, that is so weird. But yeah, let's get to the bad. bottom of this. We're going to call her right now. You ready? I am, yes. Okay, here we go. Hello? Hi, is this Rebecca? This is Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. My name's Jeff from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. How are you doing? Uh, I'm good. You have a weird tone to your voice, though. I know. What? Know. Well, okay. He's awkward. Okay. I guess, yeah. I know. It seems to be the case. I thought he was fine right there. I know. I mean, I thought that one was pretty strong. Uh, um, I apologize <laughs> for my weird voice, but. Uh, Are you like at the radio? Is this a radio station calling me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're it all sounds here. like a party. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, you should it listen is. sometime. Yeah. It's, it's pretty fun. We do this every morning. Yeah, it's a morning party. Oh, it's called yeah. Brooke and Jeffrey, and we're doing something called a second date update. Okay. Okay. That's where if you go out with someone and afterwards, if that person isn't calling you back, you can email our show and we'll reach out to them for you to help you figure out the reason why. Make sense? Yeah. And so you recently went on a date with a guy who you are not calling back. His name's Daniel. Uh, okay, this is weird. Well, gosh, I mean, you left him at a restaurant. I think that he feels like it's pretty weird. I didn't leave him there. I just didn't show up. Oh, yeah, that's what okay, I well, meant. Semantics, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you didn't show up to the date. Is there a reason for that? I 
feel like I'm being put on the stand or something right now. Um, well, I mean, put yourself in his shoes. Like, that would really suck. He had wonderful things to say about you, and he doesn't even seem angry about the no-show thing. Right. I mean, do you have any intention of calling him back? Um, I don't know, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. We're just trying to figure out why. Well, I mean, I, I guess if I was him, I'd want to know the same thing, so... I get it, yeah. but okay, mm -hmm. I don't know how much he told you about that. Did he tell you anything about how we met on the app or anything? Right. Yeah. He, yeah. he mentioned that you put a disclaimer on there claiming to be your father. That way, none of the weirdos <laughs> would reach out to you. You just like, get like the pure guys. You like had myself. like some weird overprotective dad that was overstepping his bounds. <laughs> okay. I'll just be real with you guys. It is true that my dad does run my dating app. What? What? Whoa. No. You told him it was you, and it's yeah. you don't have to lie anymore. Yeah, you yeah. told him it was a lie already. We already heard that point, yeah, just like Jose said. A, Tell okay. us it's a lie, please. So I wasn't the one that wrote him that back. It was my dad. <gasps> no. What? What? Wait, you so... let your dad impersonate you? Oh, no, no, no. I let my dad filter out the crazies. For me, it could be. Whoa. It could be that you're the crazy one in this situation. No, <laughs> yeah. we still don't understand. If your dad truly runs your account, and if he agreed, he vetted uh, Daniel for you. Then brilliant. why are you not calling him back now? So let me just put this all out there. My dad approved of Daniel uh -huh. for this date, hoping that Daniel maybe would have changed since. Back in high school, when he was Daniel's chemistry teacher. Oh! Wait, your oh, dad was a chemistry no. teacher that you guys ran into at the restaurant. Oh, the one that told oh Daniel that God. he got a D. This is amazing! So your dad was not only the guy running oh. the account, but the dude at the restaurant? Oh my This is too gosh. much. So my dad always says he wants to meet the guy one-on-one -on -one first. Well, Ew. because he knew Daniel from high school... He basically gave me his blessing to go on the date, and he just said he would be watching from afar, make sure nothing crazy happens. Wow. But he just feels like Daniel didn't really change at all since high school and is still kind oh. of the same. Based on what? Yeah, based on what exactly, Jeffrey? I think just the way he handled the conversation. Well, I just think my dad doesn't see him as a very ambitious guy okay i uh, i get that your uh, dad sees it that way but you were the one that spent an entire night with daniel how did yeah. you feel when you were with him i mean i thought he was a good kisser <laughs> oh, you do make a good point i don't know kissing is above ambition yeah <laughs> in terms of relationship rankings I so right. yeah, that's that I, agree with. Give yeah the, I don't even know if he'd want to go out with you again no. after well, hearing I don't know. So much lies. <laughs> Maybe we All should just lies. ask him because I need to tell you, Rebecca, Daniel's been on the other line listening this entire time, <laughs> very patiently, I might yeah. add, and he wants to talk to you. What? Yeah. 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 yeah he's Are like, you yeah, serious he's right now? Spying the whole time. <laughs> yeah. How do you yeah. like it? I'm serious. <laughs> follow all that. I think yeah. he's still there, Daniel. You there? I, yeah, no, I am I am here in stunned disbelief. I don't know where to start. Your dad wrote me back. Your dad is the chemistry teacher. Yeah, a lot. Your crazy. dad was watching us make out. Too I much mean... dad. No, he was not watching us make out. <laughs> oh, that's the part we're supposed to believe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm a creeper because I called a radio station for help <laughs> with my heart. Oh. Um, Are you kidding me? You're making me feel bad, and this was never my intention, and I'm sorry I didn't call you back. Like, I really am. I think you're so nice. I just, I don't know. You're such a good kisser. I'm sure you heard that, too. But, so, I mean, <laughs> I wish yeah. you the best Thanks. in, like, your future relationship. What? Well, hold on, oh, Rebecca. Yeah. I mean, yeah. listen to the words that you're saying. Like, it's obvious that you feel something for Daniel. Why do you have to listen to everything that your dad says based on a grade that Daniel got years ago? Yeah, it, exactly. That means, like, we hit it off. Things were good. I I mean, I have a good job. I got a 401k. I'm doing things. Hey, wow. Okay. You guys are making me feel bad. I'm just trying to do, like, 
it's just hard. It's just hard to navigate online. Follow dates. your heart, though. Like, don't follow the pay. Your dad's a chemistry teacher. Everything is probably just, statistics and, and ratios in his whole life. Well, and it's just like your, your dad dream? will always see you as his little girl, okay? there's mm-hmm. You can't let him make adult decisions for you else. You're never going to do anything that has any risk attached exactly. to it. Exactly. You could end up pushing away an actually great guy because your dad's being too stubborn about this. True. Okay, so I have an idea. Uh-oh. Are oh, you going to make him retake that chemistry class again and get a higher grade? <laughs> I've seen this movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, but what if you just take a minute and, like, write? I mean, you're still attached to my profile. You can still message me, a.k.a. my dad. But what if you just took a minute oh. and, like, wrote down how you feel oh. and sent uh, it and, like, pursued no. and showed my dad, like, you're serious about Rebecca, Rebecca, I have a better idea. What if we all tried to convince your dad together by doing an awkward Tuesday phone call. Oh, wow. That would be awesome. I don't know if I could talk to this man. <laughs> I would. I'd totally so talk to him. With Rebecca, him. I know you don't know what that is, but that's a segment where we will call your dad and we'll help Daniel talk to him and have that conversation oh. to convince him that he's a good guy and that he's worth giving another oh chance to. Oh, my God. There's a part of me that thinks that could be amazing because maybe my dad just needs to be put a little bit, you know, in his place. Yeah. Is Daniel, uh, hold on, hold on. on Daniel, are you interested in doing that? I don't know. I really, I really like you, Rebecca. And I mean, this is super weird, obviously, but it definitely felt like there was something really special there. So I, I mean, yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay, so uh, so normally I'd offer to send you guys out on another date, but we're going to put that to the side till we get Rebecca's father's approval. So tomorrow we can come back and call him in an awkward Tuesday phone call. Oh, my god! Is that when we time travel back to 1950s when this was still normal? (laughs) Yes, if we have to. All right, so Daniel, make sure you do your homework before tomorrow. (laughs) Not your chemistry homework, like your dating homework. Yeah. So this call is going to be a success. You're going to have a, a pop quiz. Brush up Daniel, on it's just my dad. It, you already met him. You know him. So, like, it's fine. Yeah. That's true. He was your chemistry teacher. That is yeah. true. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, I will be sure to do my best. All right, man. Awkward Tuesday phone call. Make sure you're listening tomorrow wow. at this time. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.